Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to do another entry, it's not really an entry, I'm just going to work on my uh, movie journal, as well as my TV show journal, so I've decided to put TV shows in there as well, because I feel like I'm more of a um, TV show person, I love watching shows, I watch them all the time, I watch like eight shows at a time, and I just feel like that is more my passion than movies, so what I do is use the back of the journal for that so here i'm just updating all my movies um and i'm going to write the movie title and give it stars i stop with the descriptions because i just feel like i don't have time for that so um yeah i'm really excited about it i can't wait to finish this up i still have a lot of uh, shows to add to this as well as movies and I just think it's gonna be so much fun to look through so definitely uh, keep watching this video because I will go through every movie and every TV show and from that you'll get a lot of uh, recommendations and a lot of these things are on Netflix so they're great Netflix recommendations and um, yeah I hope you like that I mean we're all still like in quarantine so I think it'd be nice to have some recommendations on what to watch and um, if you have a recommendation for me definitely let me know I think through this uh, journal you can also kind of like guess what type of thing I would and wouldn't like so you could be the judge um, if a recommendation is a good one for me and if you have a question about a certain movie or TV show please let me know if you want to like ask me if I have seen a certain one, um, I probably have, love to talk to you about it, and maybe you could, um, I don't know, I love talking about TV shows, because I have opinions about all of them, but I don't really share them in this video, because spoilers, you know, I don't want to do that, but if you want to talk about a certain thing in the comments, please just um, put spoiler alert, and then just, um, yeah, write it, like, in a comment, on your comment. Yes, I don't know. Uh, do whatever you want, but I really enjoy this journal. It's very easy. I keep it very simple. I don't do decorating or anything. It's just something that I don't know. It should be fun and not. I can't bother to put stickers and washi tape and all that. Like, I have a million other journals to fill. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, I mean, I sometimes feel like because I'm on YouTube and Instagram, I need to make everything look so pretty. But like, honestly, can we just um you know, this is pretty too, you know, your pictures, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I can't wait to show you the finished result, um, I still have a lot of shows to add to it, but that will be in the next video, um, I also wanted to, uh, say in this video that I started a Patreon, so if you want to support me, you can go to my Patreon, the link will be in the description, I have two tiers, one, for three dollars a month and that's just for extra videos etc and i also got a six dollar one and in that one you get four seasonal snow wheels so i really love for you guys to sign up for my patreon so that i can give back um because that's something i love to do but i have to pay for a lot of things and uh, my shop is my job and I'm still a little small shop, so I, I can use all the support I can get, so uh, yeah, um, you could also just check it out, maybe spread the word, I don't know, do what you want, but it would mean a lot to me if you want to become a patron, is it called a patron? <laughs> Sounds like Paw Patrol, but that's just me, um, <laughs> I don't make any sense, anyways, I uh, hope you guys had a great weekend, and that you're doing well. I'm doing well. I had a nice weekend with my boyfriend. We have a curfew now, which is crazy. I hate it. But now I'm going to show you the movies and TV shows. So this is where we left off. Starting with Pride and Prejudice. Um, I gave it three and a half stars because this is just not really a movie for me. I don't like romance that goes that slow but it is a good story it's just not really mine so i gave it three and a half because i'm like uh, i should like it more than i actually do um that's that the adams family gave it three stars because i enjoyed it but it was also kind of like what is this you know what i mean i watched it with my boyfriend my boyfriend couldn't 
people watching it, he was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Turn it off. So I finished it on my own. I couldn't give more than three stars because of that, you know? Then I watched The Social Dilemma. I gave it two and a half stars because I got annoyed by their whole... Their tone was kind of like, we're telling you things you don't already know, and I did. So, <laughs> give two and a half stars. Oh, by the way, I still did some descriptions by these, so by Pride and Prejudice, I wrote Just Kiss Already. That was really all I was thinking. Um, Wednesday is an icon. That's it. She got me to three stars. I like her. Um, the social dilemma shock many, not me though. <laughs> so from here, I don't write things along because I was just bored of it. I didn't want to do it anymore, you know? So I started watching all the Harry Potter movies. So this is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's <laughs> Stone. It's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Gave it three stars. I th definitely think that the first movie is still kind of like, mm, I don't know. But it got better after that. So Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets got three and a half stars. And then and the Prisoner of Azkaban got four stars. I really did like that one. Um, the Goblet of Fire, also four stars. Like that one as well. And watch the Zodiac. We watch a lot of like serial killer type of things. Me and my boyfriend, we really, really enjoy that. Um, we watch Notting Hill. So here I watched three movies in a row with Hugh Grant in it and that was really, it was coincidence but he's very cute so that was funny to me, um, gave it three stars, I think this is a really cute movie but because it's old I've seen many stories like this and that's because I watched this later than the others so it's not their fault. Um, love Actually gave four stars, it's my first time seeing it, I did really love this. I just love how many familiar faces are in this movie and it's just nice. It's Christmas, but it's not too much Christmas. I love it. Death to 2020 was a fun movie. I enjoyed it. There were a lot of things I did not catch up on because I'm not the kind of person who is on Twitter or very into um, American politics. So it was kind of funny to see all that because I mean, I could imagine if you have like followed everything, it would be a little bit too much or something. But for me, it was like a nice summary of what actually happened. And I thought it was quite funny. So yeah, uh, the Da Vinci Code, <laughs> I gave it two stars because I didn't finish it. I, like I stuck it in here because I was like, yeah, I'm going to finish it, but I still haven't. Um, this is probably a really good movie, you know, but I just, I, you know, I was not into it. So now we're moving on to the TV shows. So this is like my favorite part because these are really things that I would like to recommend to you. Um, I've seen a lot of shows, so being able to just say, this is what you definitely should watch um, when you like this or whatever. So these are not all the shows I've watched. This is just from 2020 um, and I, it's not done. I have still many more to go because, but I stopped because I was tired. So. <laughs> The Good Doctor gave it three stars. I do really like this. I really liked him as Norman Bates as well. So I do like this show. Uh, you gave it four stars. You is just a guilty pleasure. You know, I really like the idea of the show and I really like the actors and stuff. So yeah, you can wait for the third season. Uh, How I Met Your Mother gave it four stars because um, there are some moments in How I Met Your Mother that I totally love. So I wanted to give it four stars, even though I hate the last season. Uh, Atypical gave it four stars. I really think this show is really good. I've watched it twice. Um, it's just very cute. How to Get Away with Murder gave it three and a half stars because I, when I watch this show, I am very invested in the storyline. Um, it is a little bit over the top. I think the beginning was way stronger than what it is now. In the end, everyone's just kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, spinning out, I gave it three and a half stars. This show is cancelled, which hurt me very much because I love this show and I love Kaya. Kaya is such a good actress and I want her to be in everything. And then they cancelled the show, even though it was good. So, a few Netflix. Um, Dracula gave it three and a half stars. I did enjoy it. Um, the only thing I hated is that, um, what's that girl's name? Van Helsen or something? 
She's supposed to be Dutch, but her accent is not Dutch at all. So why do you give her an accent if it's not the right accent? That's just a pet peeve of mine. Um, but I think I have the right to say that. I have the right to complain about fake accents, you know? Yes. Sex education, five stars. Just really good. Chose this picture because um, they made me cry in the boss scene, so. <laughs> uh, the Good Place gave it three and a half stars. I just think that The Good Place is a good show, but it's not always my sense of humor, you know? Um, show that is really my sense of humor is that 70s show, it's not in here yet. And I wanted to rewatch it with my boyfriend, but Netflix deleted it and I'm so mad. I wanted to watch that 70s show so bad. But like, um, the cool place, it's like funny and sometimes I laugh, but most of the time it's not really my, you know? <laughs> That's the thing with comedy shows. Some comedies are really funny to a certain person and then, you know, people are different. Um, the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina gave it three stars. I Last night I finished uh, part four. <laughs> I just want to like talk to someone and complain about it like that last scene like no got it like what are you doing why would you do that I I was kind of like up all night thinking about it how I would love to rewrite that last season it was oh, it was bad like I really enjoyed the first two seasons so I would have probably given it more stars but the last two seasons were just so Riverdale like, and I'm so disappointed. Anyways, and with an E, another great show that got cancelled, uh, gave it four stars. This is just a very good show, a very cute, a very chill. Uh, Baby gave it two and a half stars because I did watch the show. I watched it until like half of season three, but I just don't like it. I like the aesthetics. I like the way these girls look. I like the idea, but... I just don't really like the show. It's just very depressing to me. <laughs> uh, La Casa de Papel, five stars. Tell me a story, two and a half stars. By the way, I'm not telling, saying anything about the show, but the show is just pure perfection. So if you haven't seen it yet, you're welcome. <laughs> um, tell me a story, two and a half stars. I like the show because of the actors, because there are people in it from Vampire Diaries, but it's not very good. So, you know. Uh, Riverdale, two and a half stars. You know, I still watch Riverdale. Like, season five is on now. And I watched... I watched the first episode. And every time I'm like, why do you do that? But sometimes it's enjoyable. But it's just very bad. But it's also kind of, like, aesthetic. I don't know. I'm ashamed. <laughs> I'm not okay with this. Also got cancelled. <laughs> really good show. But it only got, uh, like one season so I only gave it three and a half stars because it needed more screen time it had like a few episodes so there was not a lot there was not enough for me to give four stars but um I hope to come back dare me it gave it three and a half stars um I really enjoyed this show but it's again sometimes you really enjoy something but it's not really good but you just enjoy enjoy it so um that's this <laughs> Lock and Key gave it two and a half stars. I don't know why this show was so popular. It's not that good. Let me just say that. The only thing I liked was that guy. And Gabe. I don't know, I liked the actor. Moving on. Community, three and a half stars. Um, with Community, it was just very hit or miss. Like one episode, I could be like laughing out loud. Hello. <laughs> um, but the next episode I'll be like, what is this? So that's the three and a half stars. I do like it. I do like the characters and I do like a lot of these jokes. So Hollywood gave it three stars. I did enjoy this little show. Um, I don't know if the show, I don't think it's going to get a second season. I don't think it needs a second season. I give it not more than three stars because, um, like, I enjoyed the show more, but it's a nice show, you know what I mean? I'm having a really hard time rating things, because you can, like, compare it, comparing it to something else. But it's also about enjoyment and not about quality, in my opinion. Uh, That's Me gave it three stars. I do think this show is fun and good. Um, I'm also not really attached to that blonde lady. She's kind of bitchy. 
I did really like that they were um, saying their zodiac signs because I had already guessed our zodiac sign and I was right because she's a Pisces and she's a Scorpio and I just I knew it I was like telling myself and then they said it so they did think about that and I respect that that they like made a character and they um, chose the right zodiac sign for it I guess um, vis a -vis, gave it three and a half stars. I did really like it. I still haven't finished the like Oasis season because I just uh, I wish they didn't make that. I don't know what the point of it is. Like no, just no. But the other seasons I did like. I really liked um, Nairobi and of course Sulema. I'm like getting all these names mixed up with other shows, but you know who I mean. Hopefully. Uh, never ever ever gave it two and a half stars. I just this show is just so Netflix If you know what I mean with that and that is not a good thing It's so Netflix and that annoys me and I also just feel like I am too old for this um, It's just a little bit too screamy in your face um, I'm just too old for it basically <laughs> uh, Dynasty gave it three and a half stars. It's not that good, but Liz Gillies, you know, what I mean I'll watch anything with Liz Gillies in it. So <laughs> Oh, okay, 13 reasons why I gave it two and a half stars because, you know, the later seasons are just bad. They're just bad, and um, I don't know. Gonna make people kill themselves, so I'm not going to give them a high rating. But I did, which I did watch all of it, and I've never cried so much in a show, and that's not really a good thing. It's just too fucking sad. Like, chill down. Uh, Control Z, two and a half stars. This is like a Mexican show, I think. Um, yeah, it was okay. It was fine. Uh, the Sinner, I gave it three stars. I really loved the first season. The first season was so good. And after that, I just... Mm, not really. Like, the first season was really like, oh my god. You know, psychology. And then after that, I was just like, yeah, but not really. You know what I mean? Missed it for me. Um, in the Orthodox, gave it three stars. This is like a mini series about um, a girl running away from her Jewish marriage, Jewish marriage, and um, I didn't really like it. So yeah, M Plus is a Dutch show about a lesbian in Amsterdam. Give it three stars. Um, I really liked the first season. It's very fun. The format was really cute. Um, second season was just we want to make another season. It was less good, but if you like um, Like to watch things about um, You know the lesbian community you can look it up on YouTube um, It has subtitles and Elisa five stars of the show um, New season is coming I don't know if it's going to be nice with the new cast and all, but I do really love this show, so I'll definitely rewatch it for the third time sometime. <laughs> <clears throat> the Umbrella Academy gave it four and a half stars. I mean, the first season, I wasn't really um, feeling it because I felt like we were jumping right into something that you should have already bonded with. You know what I mean? It was kind of like the, sec uh, the first season was already the second season. And because of that, I felt a hard time like connecting to the characters. But then season two came along and I loved that so much. Um, because I felt like I knew the characters and it was more funny that way. And um, Klaus in season two is just amazing. Like the, the jokes and everything is just so great. I love it. So yeah, that's the four and a half stars. Um, Dark gave it five stars. This show is just really good. Actually really good, so... Five stars, there you go. Uh, the Politician, give two and a half stars. Um, season two is up. I'm not watching it. I'm not that interested, so that's that. Uh, Unbelievable, this is a mini series about, um, about a serial rapist. And um, this was very touching, so I did like that. Uh, Rain, gave it three stars. Um, without saying spoilers, <laughs> I love Francis. So, yeah. Okay, uh, 
Good Girls gave it three stars. I do really like the show. I um, think it's funny. I think it's nice. We got Skins gave it four stars. Skins is just a show that I've already watched three times. It's so very good. It's fun. Kaya, again. Uh, we all love a, a Fistona moment. And um, yeah, we'll definitely keep rewatching it, even though it's kind of depressing. It's fine. <laughs> How to Sell Drugs Online Fast, another German show, gave four stars. This is really good and enjoyable and just nice and yeah. And then lastly, Lucifer gave it three and a half stars because the first time I watched it, I loved it so much. And then um, I'm currently watching it by my boyfriend and the jokes are mostly about sex. So that is getting old at some point. So that's kind of like, and also the story is not always that good. So that's why... It's course low, but like the first time I watched it, I would definitely have given it four stars at least. So, yeah, that was everything for now. I still have a lot of shows and movies to add to it, but um, that will be for next time. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more of me, you can also follow me on Instagram. It's Major on Snowbar. You could also check out my shop. It's Major on Shop. And if you want to support me, you can also go to the link in my description to my Patreon to become a Patreon in which you could also get seasonal snail mail. So I want to thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!